Okay, there we go. All right. Okay. Hi, everyone. Sorry for the lateness. We're going to put it on strawberry shortcake here. <laughs> <laughs> She will be <laughs> strawberry shortcake. <laughs> strawberry shortcake, looking looking like strawberry shortcake. All right, so hi everyone. This is I've Noticed Podcast episode uh, number seven, five and seven of oh, episode number seven. Um, we have two special guests here, but before we introduce them, are I allowed them to introduce themselves? Um, make sure you go like all the business pages, the Ashes Yummy Tummy catering page on facebook you can go to the <laughs> you can go to the website uh and order sauces from there i'll also be uploading like additional things as well um go to the ashley's yummy tummy youtube page so if you don't catch this video live that is where the videos will be uploaded so it's it's uploaded like the whole episode that's always the very first episode that's uploaded and then i break them down into the questions so tonight if we have time we're gonna do five questions um so they'll be broken up so if you you know you got add you know and then also you can go listen to it like on uh amazon pandora itunes so if you're working out or you're at work you're doing a little office job and you you not can't really visually watch it, then you can also just listen to it um, audio wise. Why well, you ain't tell me that so I can follow it on iTunes and all that stuff on Spotify? <sighs> well, you know, I mean, I'm still working on stuff, you know. But also follow me on Instagram, uh, Ashley <laughs> Monique eight four three. I will eventually do an I've noticed podcast uh, Instagram page as well. Uh, what else? What else? So, I I think that's about it. So, the Ashley Jimmy Tummy Catering Facebook, Ashley Jimmy Tummy um website, Ashley Jimmy Tummy YouTube. To, in order to watch these videos, replay them. Um, but you can also still watch them on the Facebook. Um, if you want to like look at the comments as well, and uh, go like the I've noticed Facebook page. Um, like that. That's where I also post the videos as well. And so um. So we're going to let our special guests introduce themselves first and where you can follow them at. And then we'll let uh, the girls who you already know um, introduce themselves and where you can follow them at. Um, who would like to go first? Ladies first. Ladies first. I knew he was going to say that because you are such a gentleman. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Yeah, I'm right. Esther. Yeah. Um, I don't know who knows me on here, but I'm super new. Um, I am originally <clears throat> from, I have lived in Mary County before, so that's probably why I see my face. My face is so familiar. Um, you can definitely follow my regular page, SS the Schuler. I have a very new fitness journey page. You can join. I have my very new business, SB Fitness Journey. You can join that page as well. It's on Instagram, SB underscore 20. And I also have a personal Instagram page, which is lady underscore E. Please go follow all pages. And if you have any weight loss, needs holla at me i lost over 100 pounds within a year or two so let me know that's amazing thank you that's dope thank you daniel what's going on y'all i my name is daniel knight um y'all some of y'all probably know me as rhythm it's my artist name um i'm a little bit of a singer um but a little bit a <laughs> little bit <laughs> little bit you little can bit. you can sing <laughs> oh, man. I need to hear you. He's yeah. a celebrity too. You can go. Who says that? Who said that? Why? What, what I'm did you not, say? What you I'm tell not a celebrity. You got a too. TikTok I'm famous. About to real. He's TikTok Lord. famous. Oh, no. I'm not TikTok famous. I wouldn't. A follower. 11. You on TikTok? I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on TikTok. I was going to say my TikTok and my Instagram have the same handle as I underscore am underscore rhythm you spell rhythm r-h-y-t-h-y-m and you can follow me on there um yeah that's me let's give Glad him a here. round of applause he's from marion county this small town he got ten thousand tiktok like listen goals oh you gotta shout me out you gotta shout me out i'm sorry sorry <laughs> i got you i'll be adding your tiktok tonight thank you oh my lord <laughs> I, got I got you. Okay. Um, thank y'all for uh, having me too, Ashley. Oh, yeah, no problem. You. No problem. Kiki or Courtney? Oh, I, I'm Courtney. 
<laughs> I'm not TikTok famous or anything, um, but I do have an IG. Uh, it's called F U L L C O R T. You can follow me on that. I'm going to start getting active on that real soon. Uh, I don't have nothing going on, but just watching. <laughs> we still going to follow you. <laughs> oh, y'all ready for me? Oh, okay. So. I'm Kiki, of course. Kista, no Instagram. <laughs> uh, Snapchat, maybe. I forget. I <laughs> times. Uh, no, uh, no TikTok stuff. My my children do that on my tablet, and um, <laughs> uh, I guess I sing a little bit at church and stuff, but I don't have no ten thousand followers or nothing like that. But um, you'll so, get there one day. One day, one day, yeah, one day. All right, so let's let's go into this because we're behind schedule and I don't want to keep people up. I got a busy day tomorrow. Hi, Brittany. That's my cousin, y'all. All right, so let's go with the first topic. The first topic is <laughs> females that are pregnant with one guy's child, be it their boyfriend, their ex-boyfriend or whomever, their sneaky link or whatever you know, friends with benefits, whatever, but she's pregnant with one guy's child, but she's still sexually active and dating a whole nother person. My God. <laughs> My Lord. Wait, ooh. How do y'all feel about that? Like, is it, is she free to, well, it's her body, she does whatever she wants to do. Are we doing that feminist? Are we going the feminist route? Are, are we like using some, I don't want to say common sense route, but moral and integrity? Like, how, how are we going about this? You have to have to agree, double. disagree. I, for me, I just think it's more of a respect. It's definitely her body. She can Correct. do whatever she wants with her body. But I just think it's more of a woman as a respect thing. Like, okay, come on. I'm carrying this man, babe, for nine months. Maybe I can date this guy. You can date. But as far as sleeping with, hold off. You still have somebody, baby, inside you. That's kind of like disrespectful a little bit. So I just think like you just need to hold up. You can wait nine months. It, it, and then it didn't even work with your baby daddy. So why are you like, take some time for yourself, baby girl. But my opinion. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. If I may. I think for. I and think this, is why you, this is where you come in, Daniel, because we need guys for these men, yeah. for these topics. This is where you really yeah. come in. Um. I think it depends. It also depends on the situation and what okay. for me. And I'm saying if we were talking or we were together already and then you had a baby on me, then that's an issue. You know what I'm saying? You obviously committed infidelity as to where we're going to go our separate ways. But if if she just say she just found out she was pregnant. And it was a one night stand or, you know, it wasn't a relationship. It's maybe she's just trying to get out. There's been a couple months, you know what I'm saying? I can't necessarily, I, I don't think that I would not talk to her because <clears throat> this is the reason why. The reason why is because <laughs> now, the sexual active thing, I, I agree with Esther. I agree with Esther. In the sense, I'm not going to touch you in that manner. Until, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just not. I'm so just you're going to wait nine. Okay. Well, now, if you say you're not going to. Have sex with her now. That's now that goes deep. So you said she just found out. Teacher. So let's let's say she she um she three months in, right? So mm -hmm. you're telling me you're not going to touch her for six months. You're not going to be sexually no. active with her for six months. No, we're really really longer than that. What is it, six? Let's say eight months. It's like six to eight because like six to eight weeks mm -hmm. after you had the baby, right? Yeah. My see, I'm I'm really different. And one thing that's not is not a necessity per se, although it is very important in a relationship, sex. is sex. Right. So for me, you know, I can still even use that as an excuse as to let's really get to know each other. I might not like you after this nine months. You feel me? Like this might show me that oh, this this is what you turn into when you get pregnant. I'm not giving you no kids. You know, it, it could be either, either, or I, that's, that's not necessarily a necessity for me. You gonna wait that you know long? What I'm saying? You like her or not though? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm using that as an excuse. You know what I'm saying? Like as an example, but as far as 
be getting physical, being physical. That's not something that is a necessity for me. All, like even right off the bat, like that. You, you know what I'm saying? Get that because you do want to get to know a person, like yeah. And we we had a topic we discussed that maybe like two weeks ago about um which which the question was about are you waiting for the ninety days or are you like fuck it? And so we all kind of agreed, and I think it was like five of us up here at the time. We all agreed that we're not gonna wait. We're not gonna put a time stamp on. It's just the vibes and the energy. So yeah. let's say you are getting to know her, and you like her. So how about this? I'm gonna go deep. Would you do oral? You may not enter. Would you do oral? Oral pleasure on her? Because now you like her. You see she's struggling. Her back hurt. Her titties swole. You know. <laughs> her ankle swole. You just want you start you start massaging her and you just be like, damn, she, you know. <laughs> Would you orally please her with another man's baby in her? <laughs> That's kind of hard. That's 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 hard to wrap my head around. <laughs> Could you see that's, yourself doing? I mean, just be honest. I don't. Could you see I don't think. I don't think that I could. Honestly, like <laughs> I don't think that head. I could. <laughs> Only, <laughs> yeah, bro. Like I just, you know, say I just that would be in the back of my head for some strange reason. Like there's a whole human being right there. <laughs> but that's but the, I'm not, I, the reason why <laughs> I went that deep, Daniel, is because if you're if you're saying because now you've gotten to know her, now you you like her, and right. you see she is struggling with the pregnancy, normal struggle, not like extra struggle, just normal right. struggle pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And then you that's your girl now. You like her, so you do want to massage her like her feet because her feet are swollen. So. But that's now intimacy, there's, though. There's, that, that's not always sexual. I understand <laughs> it, but now there's okay. feelings there. You like her. You want to please her. You want to satisfy her. So you know you're not going to disrespect, you know, another man's child by entering in her sexually. But would you orally please her? I just, I don't, I think it would just be the whole thing would be we're, we're going to wait. You know what I'm saying? I, and if I like the her. Just wait, period. Until after she has that's what I'm. That's my point. That's what I I'm mean, saying. I mean, like relationship wise, <laughs> period. Don't even don't get in know, a relationship but, with her. But don't it for me, it takes time. Okay. For me, it takes time to be sexually active with somebody anyway without okay. really getting to know them. You get what I'm saying? Like for me. So like I just can't just be out here. I just don't be out here hopping in the sack with just, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So like for me, it, it's all up here anyway. I got to see what's up here. Rather than what's up, Whitney? Um, I got to see what's up here before I even get aroused. You get what I'm saying? So I need that time anyway, whether she's pregnant or not. I still oh, need that time. <laughs> you said what? You are a reverie. I mean, you know, right. That's what I'm like. That's why I'm, I'm poking it. I'm like, so, so how about this? Like with a camera, but he sound good. <laughs> So I mean, honestly, no, we've, had, honest. we've had a couple, yeah. a couple guys that's that's been up here. They've been different. Like even Wes was different. Wes was he was different in his own way. Um, Sean Swamp he was different in his own way. Like that's why I'm happy that um bringing guys up here because we low key we stereotype y'all. Yes, but then we got low key. You get low okay, key. okay, yeah. high key, high key. We stereotype y'all. High key. High key. <laughs> That's why I was like, hold on, you are a rare breed, but you do. I, I have met a lot of men that said it takes a while for them to sleep with a woman. It is, and honestly, huh? I don't know. I was, I was telling somebody, thank you. Oh, no, no. I, I have met some men that said it takes a while. And I'm like, really? Again, it, it just, I just don't want to stick my thing in everything. And I'm just like, oh, really? But it's not, it's not, I don't run across a lot because it seems like the ones I run into always want to stick their thing like the day one. So I'm just like, but my homeboys, they say, well, they don't have to. Or I meet some men, they like, they don't have to. They're waiting. Oh, it's been months since I've done it. And it makes me feel bad. Like, dang, really? I, yeah. I, listen, I'm in my dating phase right, right now, and I don't be believing these guys. I mean, okay, let's say this right here. Guys that used to say they're waiting and guys that are watching right now, you can you can put drop a crown if it's true, or you can do an X. If you if it ain't true or whatever, you choose what you want. But guys just used to say that they are waiting. They're usually getting sexually satisfied some, from somebody else. So that was I was going to ask you about that. Oh, the way. But because of your response, I'm not even going to ask you that because I get the feeling that if you were um 
in the process of getting to know her while she's pregnant with someone else's child, I don't feel like you don't give me the vibes or the energy that you will be entertaining another woman for sexual purposes. You don't give me that vibe or that energy. Mm -hmm. Nah. So I wouldn't even ask you that question. But I'm just I mean, but don't don't get me wrong. I mean, I it's not that that's not been me all my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, okay, people say it change. all the time. I, I ain't okay, been saying change. it all my life. That's just where that's just where it's been as I'm getting older. You know what I'm saying? Like you have your fun, you do what you want to do. There's been some times where I've had, you know, a, a quick physical relationship, but I've learned from that and to learn that it's only going to become a physical relationship. I can't even ask you how your day is because you come to my house and you already naked. Like, can we talk? Can we, can we actually do something? Can we actually go get something to eat? I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that changed me over time to where like, I, I don't even, I can't even get aroused. Bro. Whitney, I didn't even see that. You know what? Yeah. Whitney, just <laughs> said, he's definitely different to you see his shirt. I <laughs> Hey, this is just one of my favorite hoodies. Just like, oh, I did not wear this for this podcast. But no, I'm just, I'm just saying, that's, you know, it ain't always been like that. But you know, that's just where I'm at now mentally. I, right. I need to be able to talk to you. All right. So, Kiki, um, what's your thoughts on the topic? Um, how do you feel about women that are pregnant with somebody else's child, but dating and sexually acting with somebody else? Yay, nay. I say nay. Why? Uh, it's 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 it, it's a numerous of reasons why I say nay. Um, as far as I'm not saying that she can't do what she want to do, mm -hmm. but especially depending on what stage of pregnancy she in. Uh, well, it don't even matter what stage of pregnancy she's in. Uh, her being pregnant and her being the receiver of Things y'all y'all know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whitney do too. <laughs> I know. I oh, just saw what Whitney said. said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, she coming. She here. But um, like spirits are real. We talked about that generational right, stuff. Right. Mm. Like that yes. stuff is real. Yes. So her receiving already from the the sperm donor, because obviously that's what they are. She's with somebody else. And then receiving from somebody else, it's not just her receiving now, the baby is now receiving. Mm. So you are now trying to put in this different stuff from other places into not just you, but your child now. So preaching, man. I say, I say, that's why the main reason why I say nay. Now, I mean, she going to do what she want to do, then that that's her. Tell Kyron, leave me alone. If that's what if that's <laughs> what she <laughs> going in. <laughs> you talking about teach us, missionary. Teach yes, us. It's so, You're preaching, ma'am. I mean, you know, if that's what they're going to do, that's what they're going to do because, you know, everybody have their own mind. Everybody have their own thing. Right, but me right. personally, not just that, I still say have respect for your child to refrain from someone that's not the father. Thank it's you. no longer about just you now. It's now about the child. Miss mm -mm. Courtney? Um, <laughs> so here's my thing. I just, if a woman decided to do that, you know, to date and sleep with another man while she was pregnant, regardless of how far along she was, I don't think I would judge it, but we know how I am. I, I, I wouldn't judge it. However, I think it's very weird. <laughs> I, I think how you can feel comfortable doing it. Exactly. I think it's weird. Like one, like. I don't even see how you would navigate dating someone completely different while you're still pregnant. Like, how do you, I, to me, it's weird to even put yourself in a position to even start the conversation of trying to invite someone else in your life while you got something, you know, something going on. That's just weird to me. Not saying that I would judge anybody for it, but it's just, it's weird. And I don't see how, I mean, granted, I think I've heard, I've, I've never had kids. Y'all know how about that but i've heard that, like while you're pregnant like you get horny a lot you know like it's, it's the situation down there or whatever but even then i don't see how you would, could do that with 
it's just weird. It's just weird. That's just to sum it all up. To me, it's just weird. But I mean, if you, you know, whoever's doing that, I wouldn't look at them like, girl, like I wouldn't do all that, but it's weird. <laughs> okay. So these are my thoughts on it. Um, First off, if, if, okay. if, a, if a female is dating per se, clearly her and her, her baby dad are, as Keisha say, the sperm donor, he, they're no longer together. My thing is, now you're a parent. So if anything, I feel like you should be not traumatized, but you should be like, oh shit, this ain't like, this ain't what I anticipated. I was supposed to be in a relationship. This was supposed to be a love child. You know, now you're single. I don't think you should be out here looking for dick. Like, I think you should be out here making sure that you are financially stable. Like, talk to the uh, the, the sperm donor. Like, are we going to co-parent? Or are we just on a break right now? You know, um, I just feel like, there's way more important things that you should be focused on ver versus like trying to be in a relationship. And as Courtney say, like, it is, how do you even have, how do you feel sexy or attractive or like, you know, feel comfortable even talking to a guy? And like, I see it so much, you know, I'd be like, how in the, why is he, oh my God. But then again, in my head, and he, I know guys probably gonna be like, what the hell? I just think like guys just be wanting to have sex. So they just be like, because I've seen the thing where they say, oh, pregnant pussy is the best pussy. Yep. You know, it's wetter. You know. Yep. I've, um, heard that I've so literally just, had somebody tell me that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm just like, and I guess it goes with what you said, Courtney, about them being more horny and stuff, you know. But um, I I don't agree with it. Um, and I don't have children. I haven't been pregnant, you know. <laughs> But uh, I know when the time do happen, I'm not doing that. If me and the uh, child's father does not work out, I'm not doing it. If anything, I'm probably going to be in therapy because uh, I'm going to be like, I did not anticipate this, you know. I'm not going to be out here on some dating site looking to hook up with a guy, you know. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, of course, it disappeared. Whitney said, yeah, because how you have a whole baby in your stomach from one guy and one another one pleasing you in that way. LOL. I know it happens, though. It happens a lot. I, I, this I, is, I hate to say it, but I've literally, I've literally had, and this is, I'm telling my business, I've literally had, she was a really good friend of mine. She got pregnant, and we had this conversation, and she was trying, and I was like, uh, what, trying no. to get with you? She was trying to hunt me. She wasn't even trying to get with me. And it was, she said, you know, that she said exactly what uh what Courtney said was um, you know, pregnant women, we just have urges, we have more urges. And she was just kept saying that. And I'm like, what are you getting at? Like, what just just what are you saying? And she was like, I I need some help. And I was like, How far along was she? <laughs> um I need some help. Five. It was like five. Five months. Five months. She said, yeah. I need some help. Like, like I she asked everything. him to borrow True twenty dollars for gas to go to work. True story. True story. True story. True story. True story. True story. In the moment, did you feel uncomfortable initially, or were you just like, like, what was your initial feeling when you realized what she was asking? You? What the hell? Hold on, <laughs> like, hold was, on. Let's, let's backtrack. Was my... Were you sexually attracted to her prior to pregnancy, or even during pregnancy? She was my friend. Like, oh, so, so there was no friend. sexual. So yeah, there wasn't nothing. You it wasn't. Still find them attractive. So you she can. was beautiful. She was beautiful. It wasn't. I'm just saying there wasn't nothing between us. I found yes. The answer to your question, I found her attractive, but it wasn't okay. me acting on that. I get what you're saying now. Now pause. Yeah. Let, let me ask you this: If she wasn't pregnant and she said, "I'm just having these urges. I just need you help me out. Let's do something." Would <laughs> you have? Because you do find her attractive. When she asked me this, this was some years ago, probably. Probably, because so, they're, they're so you got where, standards. It's the baby that's in them. Yeah, and I told her that. I said no, <laughs> no. You're like, I'm sorry. I can, you know, what I'm saying I'll, I'll cash out you some money for a toy, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not like no. No, and I told her that. It's not that deep. That. Like I'm deep. saying here, that there's plenty of other ways to 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 you know. <laughs> A friendship as well because after it's over y'all would have been laying there like so so you want some juice <laughs> same time tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> same time next you know, week after you, break, <laughs> you know after you get the big though you have that moment of clarity right <laughs> Right, like, like, what did I just do? That's why like, I don't. That's why I don't. I don't. I don't 
do stuff like that. Like I, when it those urges, I just used to become a DJ. <laughs> you know. Hey, yes. <laughs> You're a toy. Karen Smith said no. I can't with you. Yes, a toy. A, a toy. toy. She want a toy is soul ties in her. She should be good at this moment. Right. Wait your nine months. Get to know yourself. You messed up with your baby daddy. Get to know yourself. Like yeah. she said, get some therapy if need be. But you really need to be alone. Please yourself. Yep. And then get it going. And like after nine months, then do that. Do that. I'm but you wait. I'm an advocate <laughs> for pleasing yourself because that is the safest sex. Yes, yeah, the You ain't got to worry sex. about nobody calling so you. So much is crazy. So you ain't got to worry about nobody crazy. harassing you. You ain't got to worry about no STD. Only maybe you might snag a nail or something, you know. Yeah, so but you ain't got to worry about it's COVID now. Also, you know yourself. So you, and you, you know don't have yourself. to worry about. It ain't going to take that long. Get to that point, bring brought back down because somebody done moved to the left. You know, it's. Right, too good. And, and don't let it. It might be whack, too. So, ugh. Ain't oh it? So God. now you got to deal with the fact <laughs> of now your, your friendship possibly is ruined. You know, uh -huh. and traumatize your baby. Yeah, like. Yeah, I just. Mm -mm. All right, so that was great. So let's go to the second topic. Um, so basically, to wrap up the first topic, the question was: uh, If a woman is pregnant with a child, how do you feel about it? We all agreed that no, that's weird. Focus on yourself. You a single parent? You damn near a single parent. Now, like, don't be worried about no penis. Be worried about diapers and and wipes and shit. You know. But anyway, um. <laughs> hey, uh, 